What's going on TD Nation? It's your boy Dizzy. Today, something different but the same because we've done it before, but it's different because it's not something I typically upload. So the pandemic is still in full force. We're still to be locked down, still to be uh, avoiding large crowd gatherings. Although I am seeing some people still gathering. But most notably, uh, tonight when I'm recording this, so the day before this video drops, MLB opening day. More specifically, the Padres played their first game, and the Padres, man, they smacked the Diamondbacks 7-2, to so I'm in good spirits. Can't attend games, unfortunately, due to the pandemic and everything going on. So I figured, why not take a trip back in time? And let's go back into 2019. And let's go ahead and react to and give our own commentary, like we did before, to, well, you know, one of our old vlogs. I did this before with a previous video. I'll link it down below or if I can do one of those corner things. I don't know if it's this corner or this corner. I gave my breakdown of like an old vlog from 2016 when Tanya and I went to uh, went to a Chargers game when they still played in San Diego. It's good stuff. You should check it out. But anyways, let's go ahead and watch this. This is gonna be fun. This is like me watching my videos with you guys. So let's see how this goes. I'm gonna watch it through. I'm gonna try and live vicariously through this since we can't go to baseball games. And yeah, let's get into it. You watched my last uh, a vlog. Remember the title screens that I talked about? Because I wanted to be Casey Neistat. I still do, but I really wanted to be Casey Neistat at that point in time. Just looking at at this, looking at this footage, man. I look at downtown San Diego, man. San Diego is is so beautiful. Can we just throw it out there? Ooh, can, can, hold on. This is this is post when when Dizzy started to learn transitions and such. Look at this. Zoom in. That was pretty. That was pretty clean, no, huh? I learned how to do one thing from a tutorial, and I never really expanded upon that. One thing I always try and do, and I sorry, I know I know if you're getting into it, my bad. One thing I always try and do with some of my videos is try to tell a story as best I can. Obviously, that's what makes a good video or vlog or anything in general. This whole intro sequence, like you just saw us at the parking structure, walk across the bridge, enter the stadium, walk down to our seats, and not once did I say anything. I love being able to tell a story without using words to get me through the story. You feel me? Obviously YouTube's a little bit different because it's like literally me talking to you guys, the audience, who are watching this video, but it, 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 that's one of my favorite things to do is how, how far along can I move the story without having to explain the story. You know what I mean? Single the mile, Padres versus Dodgers. Good to be out at a ball game. Haven't been to a baseball game in probably like a year, two years, something like that. So it should be fun, should be exciting. It had been a year or two since we've been to a game. And we made it a point, like, okay, it's May, it's early in the season, let's try and just go to a game as soon as we can, and just, not not like get it out the way, but just to make sure, like, okay, a whole baseball season goes by, and we just didn't go to a game. Remember, this was last year, so Tanya and I weren't living together, so it took, like, planning to go to, go to a Padres game. It meant, like, we had to pick a weekend where the Padres had a home game, and I would I would go down and visit, and then we would go on a, on a Sunday unless we got lucky where I was off Saturday. We could go to a Saturday game or whatever, because this was on a Sunday. Um, so like we had to like extensively like plan out months in advance. Okay, when I'm gonna be in San Diego visiting, and we have nothing going on that weekend to where we can go to a game. And also what I wanted to mention too is I'm I'm really bummed out with the whole pandemic thing, because like we I already had games marked on the calendar this year. Um, I know what, like, I was looking over the different, like, themed nights, like, you know how there's, like, a Star Wars night, there's, like, a, a, a Friends night, there's, like, a whatever heritage. There was a Peruvian heritage night, and my buddy Goose, my best friend, who you guys have seen, Diego, aka Goose, he's Peruvian. He's from Peru, and he's never been to a baseball game before, believe it or not. So it's like, alright, dude, your first ever game, I'm taking you to... In my opinion, one of the best ballparks in the in the entire MLB. We're gonna go for Peruvian Heritage Night. 
for your people and and we're gonna get lit and have fun and all that stuff and then you know what I'm saying? Let's go! The crack of a bat in my opinion is one of the one of the best most gratifying satisfying noises in sports obviously when you when you swish a, a jump shot or or you crank a uh, golf drive or you like you know you hear a crack in football with like someone just gets laid out but the crack of a bat there's just not much like when you hear the crack and the, the just from the sound you could have your eyes closed not paying attention and just from the sound you know that ball's gone. It's out of the park. All right, so the hot dudes are up 2 nothing. We had a quick, big uh, food run, so. All right, and in true Tanya fashion, tradition, we got some nachos, but stepped the game up, got hot Cheetos with the nacho cheese. Game changer. Fire. It wouldn't be a TD Diaries vlog if we didn't grub in it. And let me tell you something. The nacho hot Cheeto combo is undefeated. So, take notes. Now here comes the fun part of the, of the vlog. We're like, okay, so the Padres are winning. Everything's going great. We're having a good time. And, and, and we'll just watch. Look at the salt in my face. Look how upset I am. Look at how disgusted I am. Well, Tanya, Tanya as well. Tanya's not happy. Not even nachos and hot Cheetos can can uh, can cheer her up after what we saw. Four stay the same. Get to the nitty gritty of the game, man. We just need to just wrap it up. Wrap it up. Let's get out of here with the dub. Wrap it up. Twelve seconds later. I'm not even at this game. This game happened a year ago. Cinco de Mayo, 2019, and I'm still upset sitting here watching it. Here's where, okay, top of the ninth, here we are. Five to four Dodgers. Two outs. Okay, we just need to get out of the top of this inning, and we just need to get on out of here, and, and the, just not have any more damage done, right? Mans makes a clutch catch. It's one of those moments where I wish I would have caught it more on film, but I got the tail end of it. Tony is afraid of foul balls. And like I, I knew, okay, I saw the I saw the foul coming towards us. I knew it didn't have an uh, it didn't have the distance. It, how sick would it have been to like at the game, right? Vlog camera in hand, and you're vlogging with one hand and just with the other hand, like on that that would, that that would be the ultimate vlog shot. Anyways, fast forward ahead a little bit. Podges get a couple guys on base. I remember that was the cheekiest bunt. They bunted to get runners into scoring position, and there was a miscommunication between the Dodgers uh, pitcher and shortstop. Nobody came up field at the ball, and it ended up being a <laughs> inside the diamond hit. Bases loaded, down a run, no outs. We're thinking like, okay, we just gotta get one guy in, and we're safe. We can at least send it into extra innings. Two guys in, and it's game over, GG's. See you later, right? <laughs> Four.
first batter strikes out, and we're like, okay, it's fine, it's all right, no worries. We're stressing out, we're anxious, we're tripping, we're having a good time for half the game, then we're a little, uh, and then we're upset because now they're losing for a couple innings. Base is loaded, and, and that, that first out happens, and you're all right, you know what I mean? You still got two more outs, but you're like, here we go. And then the second guy gets out, and you're like, no, dude, not like this, bro. Let's not blow this. We're down one run. We have the bases loaded. We just need to hit one in to stay alive, two to win the game, and, and, and just back-to-back -back outs. And you're like, nah, nah, bro. No, no. No, man, I did not, I did not come to this game to watch this happen. <laughs> Bottom of the ninth, down a run, two outs, bases loaded, and my man Renfro comes in. No way! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Look how red my face is from screaming. I was, oh my God, I was hyped. I lost my ish and there's only been a few times on the vlogs that I've completely lost it from something happening. Like, like as far as like, like just beyond belief excited, like, oh my God, ah, you know what I mean? You even hear me say, like, scream, no way. No way! And then my signature, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Because, you know, I actually got paid for that for a Ticketmaster ad, so thanks, Ticketmaster. I appreciate you. But yeah, man, I remember just we, Tanya and I, were on Cloud9, and, like, you see the camera shake. Like, I, I left it in because I'm, like, it told the story of, like, how absolutely bonkers that moment in time was for that game. But, like, that's one of those mo like, usually I stay pretty composed because I'm, like, okay, I'm excited, but I need to film this. This is one of those moments where I said, screw it, F it, I'm celebrating, I'm, I'm gonna hold the camera as steady as possible, but I'm, I'm freaking out, you know what I mean? And then, like, I just start filming tops of heads and all that stuff, but then I finally get the shot of, like, let's go, and screaming in the camera. And it's one of those things, like, the mind of a YouTuber works this way, where it's like, as I'm screaming into the camera with Tanya, I'm like, this will make a really good thumbnail later. <laughs> that's just how, that's just how my mind operates. Yo, man. Great again, huh? What an amazing day, what an amazing game. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I mean, Padres led most of the game. I missed you. Get, Tanya, you wanna talk about uh, your good luck charm when it comes to baseball games? Just every game I go to, we win. Oh, I forgot about this. Ta whenever Tanya goes to a Padres game, they're undefeated. And I remember in the comment section after we told this part on the on the vlog, like the whole comment section was like, yo, what do we need to do to get Tanya to board games? <laughs> that was funny. Not only that, the last two Padre games she's gone to, uh, the Padres won on, on walk-off home runs. This one happened to be a grand slam. The other time uh, we went to a game against the New York Mets and, and the Padres beat the Mets on like a two-run walk-off or something like that. I forget what the details were. I know it was a walk-off home run. So it's like the fact that like she goes and crazy stuff happens and they win, you know what I mean? You're going to every baseball game from now on. You have to show up. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. I'm not. Yep. I'll be there in two years. <laughs> Wait, is that awkward foreshadowing? Did Tanya just tell the future? <laughs> 
with that being said we're gonna go ahead and uh end the vlog there hope you guys had fun coming with us to a baseball game hey babe we gotta eat game of thrones, game of thrones. i know game of thrones comes on tonight so we gotta get food make it back to tanya's house all that stuff it's funny <sighs> Man, and looking back on videos like this, it, it bums me out. Like I'm, I, I think I need to go back and watch more videos of myself because this genuinely made made me happy being able to like relive these memories. That's always been one of my favorite things about making YouTube videos is literally being able to watch them back and relive them. You know, there's a few in particular that come to mind: some Charger games, vacations we've taken, a couple trips to Disneyland. It's 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 fun to like relive these stories and that's what I said about part of it like just filming and telling a story without the words like I didn't have to do a whole lot of talking to the camera for context I did quite a bit to say like this is what we're feeling right now because this is the current score this is the current turn of events but like I tried to capture the story more than I tried to talk about it you know what I mean and obviously with sports, a lot of it is just, I can get away with it because my channel's small enough to where I'm not getting a cease and desist from Major League Baseball, or the National Football League, or the Major League Soccer. Or the, I just, I really wish I could be at not just sports games, not just baseball games or football games, but like, I, I miss doing stuff in general. Um, it's part of the reason why I haven't really been active a whole lot on this channel. It's just... I can only make so many videos where I'm just sitting here in my, my office studio thing. Um, and I think that's why I kind of want to get do some of these videos where I kind of break down and recap and like give you a behind the scenes like director's cut of maybe of, of some of these old vlogs. But it's they're fun to relive, you know, just for myself. But I hope you guys are enjoying it too. I don't know, man. There's just a lot of stuff I was looking forward to and a lot of stuff that's not going to happen. And I have kind of just been in a rut of like, dude, I'm just at home. Like, who wants to see that? But, you know, I know you guys have been asking for a lot of different stuff. You know, the ideas are there. I've been teasing like, oh, we're going to do a cooking vlog. And like, we've never filmed it. And we actually started cooking. Like, we've made enchiladas, fajitas, simple stuff like ground beef burritos. Like, we've been, we've made, we've been cooking. We just, I don't know. It just, anyways, sorry for my rant. TD Nation, you guys are awesome because I know you guys are always rocking with us. And I'm going to try and get back to uploading more frequently. Or at least just be more imaginative. Not just like, hey, I'm going to talk in my room for 10 minutes and then just... And throw it on YouTube, you know what I mean? Let me know if there's anything you guys want to see. Obviously, I, I shouldn't be asking that because there's plenty of stuff that we've already, you guys have already shared with me. So it's like, I just need to get to it and do it. But um, let me know just if there's anything that you would like to see. Who knows? Maybe... Maybe we might wind up doing it for a future video. Like the video if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe if you haven't or if you're new around here. Follow us on social medias, uh, Twitter and Instagram linked down in the description below. And that's about it. I got to get on out of here because I got to edit this bad boy and try and go to sleep at a decent time. So, y'all know the drill. Keep rocking with us. Keep rolling with us. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And peace. One, one, two.